Here we are at the Crestview rest stop. I've stopped here a couple times before, coming and going over 395. It's a very nice place to stop and rest. And it's got a new plaque here that wasn't here last time. It's the Lost Cement Mine. Somewhere near this spot is located the famous Lost Cement Mine, first discovered in 1857. Thought to be a mother load of gold. But due to circumstances, the people that first discovered it never made it back. So where is it? Read this and find out. Seems like the further south we go, the higher the Sierras get and the lower the snow is. The snow patches that are out here come down the mountains right to the valleys and the meadows, right to the street level. And some of the patches that haven't been piled up are six inches deep of snow still this late in the season. So, ooh, I tell you, when the wind blows, the wind coming off all the snow chills the air quite a bit. Okay, this is uh, the Crowley Lake BLM campground right across from Crowley Lake. I had to tr remember where the heck to cut off because... They don't tell you where to cut off. You cut off to uh, McGee, McGee campgrounds or something like that. So we're going to go up here to this, right at the base of these mountains. And get ourselves a place to camp tonight. Woohoo! Bumpity bumpity bump. Day and then come up here and uh, pay. So, okay, it's 10 bucks per night, but I believe, like before, if you're an old person with the uh, pass, old person pass, you uh, pay half that. So that's not bad. Okay, let's go get ourselves settled in. Here's uh, one of the nice toilets they have. Potable water available here and other locations throughout the campground here. Nice camping sites, cement picnic tables, big fire pits. 
big metal hooks to hang your stuff on. It's, most people come here, camp out for several days, then they'll head back up north to Convict Lake, uh, June Lake, uh, Mammoth Lakes, and uh, do some fishing and camping. Okay, we're just gonna kind of go through this area, show you what it's like. There's Crowley Lake across the way there. So here's Kate and mine little area here at Crowley Lake BLM Campgrounds. We're paying five bucks a night, which is not bad at all, because we have the senior pass. So, oh, yeah, that's just a short jump down to Bishop, and another short jump down to uh, Lone Pine, where we're going to stay tomorrow night, and we just relax, take it easy. The snow towards Lee Vinen and that. Man, the snow comes right down to the road level. And it's like still six inches deep down in the low area where the road is. So anyway, neighbor's got his generator going, but I'm far enough away to not worry. Got my solar, and AC, I'm set. So Kate's finally eating her breakfast. Sometimes she'll just eat once a day. She just eats when she feels like it now. One meal a day for us old folks is plenty. Otherwise, we pack on the pounds. So I got to let her eat and water, put her back in, and then uh, walk up, pay, and get my tag to put on the uh, clip here. And then relax for the evening and enjoy the view of Crowley Lake. Here's Kate just hanging out. Watching me, watching the surroundings. Hey, Kate, what you gonna do, huh? She's just kind of chilling out. You know, I got one beef with this uh, free line compression refrigerator freezer. Uh, as much as it costs for a compressor refrigerator, it works great, but isotherm gets penny cheap on the most important things like this doodad you know and then I can just reach back here and open it up and this latch here that thing's worthless so what I'm going to so what I'm going to do is there's a hole right here I'm going to get a nail or something figure out how deep a nail I need to stick in there Line it up, drill a hole here with my drill, and put a peg in there. Because this thing's come flying open twice, and all my food and beverages have crashed out over the floor. It's pathetic. You pay so much for such a expensive, nice compressor refrigerator. And the important things, they get dirt cheap on. That's pathetic. There's no such thing as craftsmanship where they build things to last instead of just crap out on you in a year or two that's the modern world and that's why I don't like it take me back to where craftsmanship made and meant something oh well that's my rant for today